Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says at the end of Surah Al-Hijr وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ Allah Azza wa Jal is saying to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that indeed and certainly we know that your chest experiences pain and suffering and tightness because of that which they say. In other words, this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us that he knows about our internal struggles. He knows about the pain that we're suffering and the tightness of the chest that we are experiencing. Whether we speak these pains aloud or not, whether you've shared them with someone or not, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows very well about them. So if there is, if you're experiencing this pain and suffering within your chest, what is the solution? How do you bring peace and tranquility back once again? Listen to the last two ayat in Surah Al-Hijr. Allah Azza wa Jal gives us the medicine. The ayah that follows Allah Azza wa Jal, he says, فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ Then you shall declare the praise of your Lord. Make the speech of your Lord. Say Subhanallah. It's as though Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is saying, Do not forget my mention. Do not forget my dhikr in the middle of your pain and in your anguish and in your suffering. Don't forget Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Declare His praise. Say Subhanallah, Subhanallah, and keep repeating it for as long as you need until you feel that contentment and peace and satisfaction once again in your heart and that your chest and your heart begins to settle once again. فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكْ And once you've made tasbih, Allah Azza wa Jalla, He says, وَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ And be from among those who make sujood. In other words, get up and pray. Follow your dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with salat. Fall into sajda in the main pillar of a salat, which is a sajda. And spend a long time in a sajda. And speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala of your anguish and your suffering and your pains in a sajda. Subhanallah, it is said that when you whisper, when you whisper into the earth, the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who's above the heavens, established on his throne, hears you as you whisper into the earth. There was once a man that experienced terrible pains and hardships in his life. And his prayers were all mixed up. He would pray on and off and everything was just kind of disorganized in his life. So he began to pray all of a sudden and his prayers were organized. So they asked him, what happened to you? How did you change? And how did you adhere to your prayers on time now? He said to them, I searched for so long and I did not find anyone on earth that will listen to my pains and my anguish five times a day, even though he knows about them other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he found peace and contentment in his prayer. Allahu Akbar, my brothers and sisters in Islam, every suffering and pain within you, you're supposed to cry it aloud to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why the prayer was legislated. That's why a tasbih was legislated. This is why worships were legislated, so that we speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through them, so that we can tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is the worship I'm offering for you. Please, O oh Allah azza wa jal, accept it and give me in replacement peace and tranquility in my life. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi idhnillah does it. Then Allah azza wa jal said, Wa'bud rabbaka hatta ya'tiyaka al-yaqeen and worship your Lord until certainty comes to you. And there is nothing more certain than death. In other words, Allah Azza wa Jalla is saying to us, and stay upon the path of righteousness. Don't ever, ever fail and drop from this path. Because as long as you're on the path of righteousness, you are in the companionship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He subhanahu wa ta'ala will look after you. Even if you experience hardships and difficulties in life, 
then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows them. And he'll make you go through them bi idhnillahi ta'ala. And he'll comp- compensate you with huge and great reward, subhanahu wa ta'ala, in this life and in the next. The surah that's after is surah al-Nahl. Allah azza wa jalla, he says, Ata amrullah, that the command of Allah is about to come. The day of judgment is about to come. This ayah is encouraging us to remain steadfast upon the path because the hour is close. The hour is around the corner. My brothers and sisters in Islam, take the time that you have left on earth seriously. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala seriously and honor Allah azza wa jal in your life the way he deserves to be honored. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our prayers and our worship and to keep us steadfast upon the path of Islam until we meet him subhanahu wa ta'ala.